Hey, bro, what'd you just say about karate? It's this! Perfect! Hi, sorry, I was just uh, defending my honor. What you'll probably notice there is that I just threw two different types of hook punches. One with a vertical fist, and then one with a horizontal fist. And you can throw both, and you should throw both, but there's a time and a place, and I just uh, spit, a little bit of spit came out of my mouth. One of the biggest questions in like boxing, karate, anything that involves punching with your hands is, should you have a vertical fist when you punch, or should you have a horizontal fist? Should it look like this or like this? And my answer is super simple, yes. Now, it all depends on the time, the place, and the distance. I think the distance is probably the most important. Let me tell you my preferences first. Okay, so as I'm throwing this punch, bang, if I'm really close, I'm gonna go thumb up and tucked because I wanna lead with these two big knuckles right here and I want to frame it in a way that goes knuckles, wrist, elbow in a straight line, right? My force is coming in like this would give it a backbone, a good brace. Bang. So as I'm smacking these out, I have better odds of hitting with these two knuckles right here, in my opinion, and putting more behind it than I do up close. Try it for yourself. And, and honestly, I got this premise that we're about to talk about from a push-up machine. And everybody's seen these push-up machines, right? Where you start off like this, and then as you go further out, you turn it over. This is the same concept that I use for whether or not I should keep my hand vertical or horizontal. When I'm up close and personal, bang! I'm throwing this punch with my thumb up. Because as your body gets further away, I think that you should rotate it over more. So a super long punch, bang! That's a hook punch, I'm gonna go, because I wanna still hit with this knuckle, bang! And I wanna have a brace behind it, I wanna have my wrist and my elbow in a straight line behind my points of contact, boom! I have to turn it over more, because if I go like this, I simply am going to hit with these knuckles right here, these finger knuckles. But in this space in between, we can work with being here, and then okay, it's a little bit further away, bang! Okay, it's a little bit further away, bang! Right, further out, yes! I can turn it over closer in, it's a lot harder to turn it over. It's possible, but I think you're more likely to hit with your finger knuckles here. Hmm, why? For me, it's definitely a little bit of instinct, right? To go here, bang. As I'm rotated here, I have this bicep flex. If you go like this, and you go like this, and you turn it the same way you do hammer curls at the top. Oh, that's another great example. I'm doing bicep curls, right? Oos. Look at this movement here. The further away it is, here. Bang, and now it's turned, here. As I extend it, boom, boom, huh, right? Same thing as I'm going like this. Ooh, ooh. These are the way we naturally should move our body when we're doing lifts. As you're working on your front delts and your side delts, right? What you're doing is you're flaring and you're turning this thumb down. But as I'm doing bicep curls, I turn out, look. It's because I think we're more structurally sound. And mind you, I'm not like a kinesiologist or anything, but like you can notice patterns, notice the similarities that we have. Let's try it with the other hand. And then a little bit further away. And now it also has something to do with what you're wearing, right? So if I've got gloves on, I have a little bit more safety to be way out here and smack with these finger knuckles because I've got big cushy gloves that are protecting me. And I get a little more range and I get to pull into it which is really good at snapping that jaw across. It's a little bit faster too, right? Because I don't have to turn my body over. So it's an option that I have from striking, bang, that kind of lets me not turn my body as much. So boxers, while they have this overhand, they're way more likely to hit with the fingers. Now, while it still might break your hand, it's gonna be less likely to break your hand than punching without gloves. Now, I think that that same concept applies to straight punches too. The further you are away, the more I think you should rotate it over. Boom, boom. Our explosive movement looks like this. Bang, 
This is cool, but it doesn't involve as many muscles that we like. But right here, this is most of the muscles that we can turn into. Right? As I'm up close and personal, these body shots look like this. They don't turn, now they turn a little bit the opposite direction, but they definitely don't turn over. I don't think your hook punch should turn over either from this close. Now the last one we're gonna talk about is angle. If I'm hitting down to the body, my wrist looks more like this. So what you notice is that we have this like circle of motion, this circle of movement. And guess what that looks a lot like? Oh, a jumping jack. What we naturally do when we do our jumping jacks is our palms start up and as they come around, they rotate up. The higher I punch, the more it has to rotate with the shoulder over. The lower I punch, the more my palm's gonna be up. Which makes it in the middle, you have to keep your thumb up. Cause watch what happens here, ready? Mmm, further away, leaning my body forwards, bang, look at that. But if I put my body upright, look at this. Everything is based off a jumping jack. If you're not sure where you should be punching with, do a jumping jack. Bang, bang, very natural movement for us to do. Oh, body shot. Also, you like my gloves? Hayabusafight.com slash Sensei Seth. They're pretty cute, huh? <laughs> Okay, that's enough, that's enough. I think he's gotten enough damage for saying karate doesn't work. So next time you find yourself asking the question, or even answering the question for someone else's sake, vertical fist or horizontal fist when you throw a hook punch? Say yes, and then tell them why. The jumping jack method. Ooh, I just made that up right now. It makes sense, right? I hold something like this, not like this. Hopefully this makes sense when I edit it and throw it together, because I feel like I'm like, Blow my own mind right now, you know? If this did you any good, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the notification. And if you don't, I will, uh, I'll vertical punch you, bro. If you're close, if you're far away, I might have a overhand.